pyramid in Svalbard is this abandoned settlement which has been preserved for decades. And it got me thinking that this isn't quite how human memory works. As we get older, we often forget memories degrade. And I'd ask the question, can we better preserve our memories through technology? Of course, we've been using technology to outsource our memories ever since the earliest civilizations recorded on clay tablets who owed how many sheep to whom. But today we use our computers. How many times in a day when you can't remember something do you just pull out your phone and look it up? The interesting thing about that type of memory is that it, it's enduring, it's unchanging. Memory loss is often associated with old age and there are technologies that are currently being developed that can help the elderly hold on to their memories. It seems that our memories could become permanent. And this is something we certainly would like to do because our memories are fallible. They weaken over time, they change and they degrade, but that is also their advantage as well. Cognitive scientists are finding that human memory works in such a different way from computer memory. And that way has a whole lot more to do with narrative, with reconstructing the past, and by doing that, constructing our sense of self. When we remember something, we actually do not store the entire event that happened. We store bits and pieces, and we store these bits and pieces in different parts of our brain. When we pull the memory back up, it's very much um, like reassembling a dinosaur once you've dug up the bones. You put together the bits and pieces, and then, like a good director, you fill in all the gaps. You see, if you just store the facts, your life becomes less of a story and more just of a scrapbook. Lots of disjointed pieces. But for us to truly have meaning in our lives and to truly understand both where we come from and where we're going, we need to put a narrative to all of those facts. As our memories become increasingly stored, we become prisoners of our yesterdays. to outsource some things. The details, the bits and pieces, but we can't outsource all of it. To do so would be like your deserted Russian settlement, frozen in time, but not vibrant, not alive, not moving ahead into the future. <laughs>